So before you got to San Francisco, you also interviewed with another team for a job. And the person on that team in charge of making the hiring decisions told you that they couldn't bring you on because they weren't ready to have a female, yep. right? Yep. Yeah, and it, it, I guess I would say that the honesty that was was given to me when they were saying that I that I I guess not that I didn't get the job, but they felt that the 49ers, because they knew how it was to have a woman on staff, mm -hmm. would be a better fit for me. And that their organization was not yet ready to have a woman on staff. He even went on to say that one of the coaches came up to him and said, well, where are we going to put her desk? And he said, where we put everyone else's desk. Like as if being a woman in the right. office, it would permeate right. and be bad. But that was another indicator to him that this organization is far from being ready. And although it, I hated hearing that, I loved the honesty because it meant that he was, the, the words that he was saying was coming from the foundation of, of the ignorance of the organization, but he understood the ignorance. Mm -hmm. And I think Oftentimes we get so caught up in hearing what's politically correct and hearing, you know, all these words that just make us feel better when often it could be lies. Yeah. And, and I'd rather hear the truth and hear the ignorance and because that's where we, we create change. Right. It's not the words that we need to change. It's the mindset.